Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to use this brand new product from Folk Art called Dragonfly Glaze. I'm serving as a plaid creator this year, so I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Dragonfly Glaze is a multi-service top coat that can be used over other paint colors to give them a gorgeous color shifting shimmering finish. Right now there are six shades in the Dragonfly Glaze line and I'll show you what they all look like in action. Because it is a top coat, you need to put down a base color of paint on your project before you use Dragonfly Glaze. You can use either dark or light colors. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the shades over top of a matte black finish. Because the pigments are suspended in a milky sort of uh, base, you want to make sure that you give the bottle a really good shake before you start working to make sure the pigments are fully dispersed in that base. You can see already that putting on just one coat can give you really good coverage of that gorgeous, one of a kind, really color shifting finish. I have found that you get best results using multiple thin coats of the Dragonfly Glaze. So I don't recommend like glomming it on all at once. The glaze doesn't take very long at all to dry, so you're not gonna add any more work time to your project by doing multiple coats, and you will like the finish much better if you use multiple thin coats. You can see that the glaze goes on sort of a little bit milky. That will dry out if you do thin coats to a clear finish, so all you can see are those shimmering pigments. And you can see right here already, just with that first initial coat, before it's even dried, that the pigments of this formula shift from a teal to a blue to a purple. And that all depends on the angle that the light is hitting your project. I think this looks great on just about any surface, but those pigments really shine when you use them on a rounded surface because then just at one glance, you can see the color shift from one color to the next. I also like to use a firm, tightly packed bristle brush to apply this Dragonfly Glaze. That makes sure that you can really work out any brush strokes and you can remove excess product without you know, adjusting the pigment placement on your project. So this is what it looks like after one coat of the Dragonfly Glaze has dried. It looks really great and if you want to stop here, you would have a beautiful finished product. If you wanna make sure that the pigments are really packed in there, you might wanna apply more than one coat. If you do that, what I recommend is to apply the second coat in brush strokes that go perpendicular to the brush strokes you used for the first coat. That makes sure that you don't end up with any streaking or striping of the pigments because your brush strokes are going in the opposite direction. I finished applying the second coat of the Dragonfly Glaze and you can see how it still looks a little bit milky and maybe not super even while it's wet, but give it a chance to dry down and you will be amazed by the finish. So here it is all dry with two coats of Dragonfly Glaze and I just, I can't get over the finish that you get with this product. It's so stunning and it's even more beautiful in person. The six varieties of Dragonfly Glaze available are Violet Blue Green, Green Gold Red, Red Violet Blue. This is the full spectrum, so you'll get an entire rainbow shift. Blue Green Gold and Gold Red Violet. And now the part we've all been waiting for, seeing all those colors in action. For this project, I used Dragonfly Glaze to make a ton of 
stunning candle holders, but I already have plenty of ideas for other ways to use this fantastic new product. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, maddencrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!